in my process, I, I layer, I always start at the back and move forward. Starting an art piece, it's just an underpainting at that point, so you can kind of play with colors a lot more, blend them in such a way that um, maybe looks like a sunset or whatever, and then it just gets more meticulous as you go on. But I definitely want to see these colors and, and whatnot, so once they're all there and everything is nice and the lines are nice and crisp, then it's, it's done and it's like awesome every single time. This all started in grade 10. We had a, a woodland art unit. And in Red Lake, I'd grown up seeing it all the way from the doctor's office to, you know, in people's homes and whatnot. So it was always something I wanted to do and we had the opportunity to do it. Everyone's looked different. Elements were all there and the principles of art were like nailing it in the art form. Um, and yeah, so I, I think at that moment, I just kind of realized that like, I think I could do something with this a little later. Like maybe it's not gonna happen for me tomorrow, but um, 10 years later, here I am. <laughs> it was a three year program that I had started right at Sioux College in Sault Ste. Marie. And uh, I really loved the program. I just felt like a, there was a lot more I could do with it after. And uh, also, I got to keep uh, my art style intact. And a lot of my influence came from the Group of Seven and also from Norva Moore. So uh, Daphne Ojig was definitely a big influence at the time. I always like to say that I'm like the love child of the Group of Seven and Norva Moore. So if they kind of got together, I came out for sure. I, I really love doing landscapes, but I also really like painting animals and the spirit of what I think they look like when no one's really looking. So I get to kind of, I blend the two together in such a way that I hope is, I stand out from the rest of the crew that are in the woodland art form and then also the landscapers that, that are current today. Moving to Toronto was definitely one of the kind of defining moments of my life because I went from Madsen, Ontario, which is like 60 people, to Sault Ste. Marie, which I thought was a huge city, and then from to go from that after five years of living there to Toronto, which is like the biggest city in Canada. In the past 10 months that I've been working, I've, I've always had like a to-do list, but then also Part of the process is definitely having like rough sketches in order to accomplish what you want to do and just to know that, have that feeling of like this painting is done.